Dodging the Manchester rain showers and the heckling of protesters outside the security perimeter, the British Prime Minister would be forgiven for feeling besieged by circumstance at the moment. But Boris Johnson is not a self-doubting kind of person. The ongoing queues at the UK's petrol pumps he dismissed as being largely driven by demand rather than a chronic shortage of delivery drivers. And he insisted the UK's labour shortages would not be solved by pulling what he described as the big lever marked uncontrolled immigration. When people voted for change in 2016 and when people voted for change again in 2019, as they did, they voted for the end of a broken model of the UK economy that relied on low wages and low skill and chronic low productivity. And we're moving away from that. The concept of levelling up is a major theme of this conference and this government. The drive for equality of opportunity, regardless of background or income and a redistribution of investment and infrastructure spending to the regions. But paying for that involves cutting social benefits and increasing taxes. And several thousand anti-austerity protesters made their concerns heard as they marched past the conference venue. Well, basically, this Conservative government are driving people into poverty at the moment. They've taken millions of people off furlough. They're cutting benefits and they're driving down wages, terms and conditions of working people in this country. At the heart of Boris Johnson's argument to the conference and to the wider public is the principle of jam tomorrow. Yes, there will be shortages at the petrol pumps. There may even be shortages on supermarket shelves leading up to the crucial Christmas period. But, he says, the UK is in a transition period where it's moving to a higher wage, higher skill economy. And, he says, the benefits will soon come. There are doubts, even among his Conservative colleagues, about the strong likelihood that more tax rises may be needed to pay for all this. In the 2019 election, Johnson's party made spectacular gains in Manchester and the north of England. The question is whether he can win them over again when he gives his keynote conference speech on Wednesday. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Manchester.